deny ya Make all the demons quiet yeah. We were built to thrive, yeah I think that we've all had enough What keeps you up at night, yeah Make all the demons quiet, yeah We were built to thrive, yeah Welcome to BXT, ladies and gents. I am here with my not recommended thighs of soda. Never drink this much soda in your life because it is a terrible idea. I'm here with that. And then we are here with BXT as well. So, due to the name of this, um, tonight is a night of farewells, or for now farewells, because uh, some people in BXT tonight uh, that we're going to be seeing competing will not be returning. Um, and that, that could be either because uh, storyline-wise we're saying they're on the injured reserve list or because uh, some of them are my guys that I don't feel like bringing back to PX. Um, one of them being Ace. So a Ace is confirmed not coming back to PXD anytime soon, maybe in the future, but right now he, he won't be in uh, 2K24 when we started off. Um, Jack Daniels, he's, he'll be coming back, but it's later in the future type deal. And same thing with a lot of people. Some people are confirmed not coming back. Uh, for instance, even he said in the server as well, uh, Corey Dreams. And also just want to point out, guys, don't, don't be like an a-hole with about it or anything like that. Just let it be. Because um, really, there's no like animosity with that. Uh, he just didn't want to continue uh, with us here at PXC. Totally fine. Nothing wrong with that. Honestly, wish him luck in his future endeavors. Hopefully, he's all good. Um, another person that we won't be seeing making a comeback in PXT. Uh, I know this could change, but confirmed wise right now, uh, Desmond Flood. Desmond Flood will not be coming back to PXT for 2K24. And that is such a hit, not just to PXT, but also a hit to the Unholy, because that means they're losing the biggest guy they got. And God, that's that's gonna suck. Desmond will forever live on in 2K23, but for right now, um, eh, I wasn't an asshole. I wasn't an asshole private, so me. <laughs> no, no, it's just I don't I don't know. I just don't want people being like all oh, busy if people are leaving. Because here's the thing: I, I get if people don't want to continue PXD. I get that, and Boy was one of them. And I fully understand that, and Flood, uh, Flood, he just hasn't contacted me back, so that's why right now we're just gonna say that he's not gonna be coming back. If he contacts me in the future, then yeah, uh, Flood might make a comeback. I don't know. But right now, confirm wise, Corey and Desmond are not coming back for next year. Um, he's, I do gotta talk to Mike, because I don't know if Mike is coming back, because I put it in the server as well, and right now he hasn't really... I don't think he's done his character in the server or in the community creation for the next game. So right now, Mike is also up in the air. We'll probably see him later in the future, not anytime soon. One person that's not going to make a comeback is we think his story is just plain up done. As far as we know, we could bring him back later. Um, Mr. Winners, that's right. When he made his <laughs> when he made his debut, not only in the rush match, but also went toe to toe against the PXD champion himself, Electro. <laughs> and actually, fucking, I want to point out, Electro underestimates his opponents a lot. So uh, Winners won't be coming back, at least for now. We'll probably see him later down the road. But right now, Winners will be uh, gone. Um, then, uh, not the main event, but it was technically this should be the main event actually. Um, both these people will also not be returning. Uh, I should have made this the main event, but really it's not. It's going to be the match before the main event. Um, it is going to be Carlo Mendez and Bone Tubular going at it. The reason I think this should have been the main event because these are the two people that the, these are the only two people in PXC that have held the PXC championship two times. And sadly, Carlo Mendes will not be coming, uh, will not be making a return in 24 anytime soon. And Bone Tubular, um, we're gonna put him on the injured reserves because he's waiting to get the game. So, with that said, uh, the, tonight is pretty much a dedication to them. Uh, there are still gonna be some like you know rivalry stuff happening because uh, last week, perfect example would be like Electro apparently claiming that he wants a shot at Mason's title. The uh, NTW's United States Championship. So it's going to be a title for title at Operation. Now, no, the PXC Championship that Electro holds now is getting retired technically. So, with that said, that title is getting retired. It is going to be gone. 
and then there will be a new world championship and i think we're going to be doing this uh yearly from now on so we'll be making a new title every year and that'll be our new like world title um so heads up on that he will still be it will still be said that he won the title and he that he was triple crown all that but apparently at operation he looks to become the Triple Crown Championship. I never gave the NCW United States Championship back. Look, Drew, I think you can do it. <laughs> you just have to go again. Well, that's that's if he wins. That's if he wins. If he wins, to be fair, you got a shot because you came close to beating him. Because we were talking about this. Uh, between the admins, the only person that came close admin-wise to beat Electro was Shane. If we're going by everybody in PXT, I'm going to say Drew. I don't know how Electro kicked out of that fucking sexy kick, but somehow he kicked out of it. And, uh, like, holy heck, man. That, that shit was awesome. Um, now, with that said, though, uh, that's what tonight's gonna be. Tonight's just gonna be a full showcase of that. But we are starting off with these two assholes. So here's the thing. Shane and Rocky have been going at it ever since Rocky made his statement that he wants revenge off Shane. They've been literally going to town each other, literally, okay, when I say that, beating each other up um, throughout the whole month, either with a steel cage, ladders, chairs, trying to beat each other up, and to be honest, it's causing a little bit of trouble in the back to where even Devil now wants a little bit of payback at Rocky. Um, we calm Devil down. <laughs> And, well, correction, Michael Wolf calmed him down because Devil was, like, already ready to go crazy, but Michael Wolf was like, mm -hmm. Price, mother So, with that said, uh, I said fuck it. Yeah, that's right, I said fuck it. If they really want to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with each other, these fuckers are gonna go toe-to-toe -to -toe tonight. So, ladies and gentlemen, tonight it is gonna be Shane Henry and Rocky Mercado tonight here at VXZ. The start is off. Now, note one thing I'm gonna point out here. If this shit, this shit better fucking be settled here, right here, right fucking now. Now, if it is not settled here, I swear to God. Yeah, we also talked about how for MTW, I'm the hardcore icon because I've beaten D Bob and I'm the hardcore champ, and Rocky is. Okay, just one point out. This is from Hood. No, not Hood. This is from Shane Henry himself. In character uh he, from what he told us he said uh he also talked about how uh he is the mtw hardcore icon because he's beating d mob and he is the hardcore champ and rocky is nothing more than a <laughs> well in this case bitch he attacked me when i was on the shitter <laughs> is that what you call you beating up your brother <laughs> fucking bankrupt what the fuck that is the weird one W promo. There you go. <laughs> All right, here it is. Now, yes, we did say this. So this, it has been brought up that um, Shane has seen success in NTW. He has been able to pick up the NTW Hardcore Championship. But now he's claiming to be a hardcore icon. Now, here's the thing. This is sort of... I think there's also just to play or push on the ego of, not push on the ego, but push off pissing off Rocky because Rocky is best friends with Mox, who we are going to be saying is the actual definition of hardcore here in BXT. And it looks like Shane is wanting to claim that for MTW, though he's only had the title for about two weeks. He is the hardcore icon. Wait, we're talking about Shane? We're talking about Mox. <laughs> in, in my opinion, I feel like Shane needs to step up a little bit more and be in, like, you know, consecutive hardcore matches to be claiming that type of prize. Because Mox, Mox held it down for like, God, how long did he hold that fucking hardcore title battle? He held it on, to, I think, from November to January. Rocky Makalo. We have not seen Rocky here in PXC competing since January. When him and when him, the team of Wolfpack and Shane Henry, the team of well, former team. Oh, what was it called again? <laughs> Outcast. Went toe to toe to where Shane went ahead and actually injured 
Rocky, to where Rocky was just not really doing stuff right in the match. Like, it, it seemed Rocky was just playing up off. And then it comes back just filled with fucking vengeance. So it looks like he hopes, hopes to continue that shit here tonight. There it is, Rocky. Shane, you know they want to get to so Shane. Oh, trying to go full on in it. Rocky, though, not done. No, he beat me up when I was trying to. I mean, guys, man, and fuck Rocky. <laughs> I do mean it was, yes, I'm the hardcore icon, because fuck, Mox as well, because you know. Wait, what the fuck? I don't know. I don't understand what they're saying with that shit, but okay. <laughs> nah, but right now, holy shit. You know, I think Shane's also getting frustrated with the fact that he has to deal with Rocky once again because he immediately going with the strike straight to the back of the skull. Alright. No, on a point. Oh, look at this. Oh, Shane. I think Shane's thinking smart here. Wait, how the. What the fuck? Wait, that was a rope break? Ref, ref that was a rope break? Alright, looks like they're looking to take the action to the outside. Oh, Rocky with a brain buster. And Rocky's wanting to probably get a pin off of Shane Henry. I want to point out, I believe this is the first time Rocky and Shane have gone one-on-one -on -one toe, toe toe They've gone against each other as tag teams. They've never gone one-on-one. -on -one. Heck, even at Abyss, both, I, what? Okay, sure. <laughs> I, I, I don't know how that connected, but sure. Shane was able to connect with a fucking... Outside dive, forearm strike to Rocky Makalo and straight up in the face. And continues with a knee shot. Continuing the offense straight to the skull. Realizing that <laughs> that's what he needs to do just to fuck, my, or fuck Rocky up in general. Ooh. Rocky, though, coming in with hard strikes. And now with a big body slam to the outside. It's, oh, shit. Okay, I, I don't know. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know how that even connected. Shane immediately busting Rocky open again. Probably looking to reopen injured wounds here. Now, no, nothing happened mentally with that shit. Like, pretty much surgically open skull, anything like that. Nothing happened like that. But... The mentality of Rocky has been up in question ever since that shot and continues with the offense straight to the skull of Rocky Mercado. It looks like Shane looking to silence Rocky Mercado here. It is one, two, no, Rocky kicks out. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie to you. I feel like you should just call that the silencer at this point. You hit it way more than the other one. <laughs> and oh! Now Makado's coming back in and looking to focus on the back of Shane. Oh god, big drop kick straight to the skull. I know this animosity's been building up ever since hell fucking the month of frost fight. That's how long this rivalry's been building up. And Rocky! Oh! Rocky was looking to go high risk maneuver, but Shane dodging it. Hey all of you, I am the silencer. I am the hardcore icon. I am him. <laughs> no, he okay. I'm gonna attack my dog right now. That kinda cool. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> And it looks like Rocky working on the arm of Shane. Honestly, they want to keep this fight on the outside. I'm noticing that. <laughs> this fight's not really happening inside the ring. Shane just taunting away, looking to just insult Rocky even further. And Rocky giving a bit. Oh! I want to point out, Rocky, from what we've seen him in the past, he's playing a little bit more sloppy this time around compared to how he's fought against the likes of Sigil, uh, Adonis, a lot of people he's faced in the past. We've seen him play a little bit more strategically. Now he's playing a little bit more crazy in general. Actually, I will rename the Assassin's Creed to the Silence here. It works better. And PXD Shane has taken over. I don't know what's going on. Also, Hunter, I'm sending you a message to see what I said. Never, never, ever, 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 never, ever, ever, 
Oh, Rocky's up, stalking his prey, stalking Shane Henry. Hey, oh, shit! Gets him with a top rope. <laughs> Standing fucking elbow right there. Holy shit. Yeah, no, Rocky. My God, dude, it looks like Rocky's. Oh, no, that's his hair. Oh, it looks. Oh, the shot that injured Rocky Mercado. And Shane still continuing the shot straight to the skull of Mercado. And Rocky gets on a knee. I don't even know how the hell he's getting on a knee right now. Oh, I, oh beautiful butterfly. Beautiful butterfly DDT. One, two, no, does not put down Shane Henry. Oh. Uh, Rocky. Oh, it's trying to go for a big knee shot there. Shane trying to go for a wheelbarrow maneuver, doesn't get it, and Rocky now taking advantage of the mishap. And Shane again goes under, escaping the ring. Boy, what's Rocky going for here? Oh, oh shit. That's actually a pretty cool move. <laughs> yeah, I know, Rocky. Rocky, I think, has been watching Shane these past couple months because he's not getting caught in that wheelbarrow move at all. Can Rocky put down the likes of Shane Henry? Got to draped over. Oh, quick DDT! And it looks like the crowd's shedding one more time. The crowd wants Rocky to put down Shane Henry, possibly. I'm not sure. No, it's there. Rocky says, screw that. He wants a pin off of Shane Henry. No, Shane still. <laughs> still kicking, still going. Both men are bleeding. Oh shit, big knee shot straight to the skull. The Shane Henry. Rocky was stalking his spray. Shane though, coming back at it. Oh! Big knee straight to the back. And now looking to continue the offense straight on Mercado. Oh shit, god damn. She looked like it hurt. Could that be it? Could we be seeing the end here? Ooh! God damn the forearm straight to the face. Mikado though, not giving up. Mikado not giving up. Oh now, oh! And now looks to punish Shane Henry with forearm straight to the back of the skull. My god. I like how me and Rocky are good friends in real life. <laughs> we fucking hate each other. <laughs> this, yeah. My god, continues the fucking forearm straight to the skull. Rocky sending Shane to the ropes. Oh, beautiful neck breaker right there from Mikado. And thinking that's enough to put Shane down. One, two. No, Shane's still kicking. Yeah, no, Rocky, Rocky has not forgotten. Oh, big fucking clothesline from Mikado. And now, oh my god. Yeah, no, Rocky's just looking to punish Shane Henry at this point. Rocky up top, going for it. Oh, he's going for an elbow drop. Misses it, Shane. Now, getting Rocky up for a big suplex. Shane thinks that's another point. Rocky out. One. No. Oh, shit. Rocky's not done. Is that a baton your pocket? You just hand me a key, me. Oh, beautiful rolling cutter right there from Shane. Looking to put down Mikado. Once and for all here. Oh. That was shut your mouth. Is that another point? Mikado out of commission. One. Two. No, Rocky still kicks up. My God, dude, the hate for these two are fucking crazy. <laughs> I haven't seen two people hate each other this much since fucking Bugam. <laughs> oh, missing the shot, thinking that might be enough to put Shane out. No, Shane's still going. I don't know, Rocky's just getting desperate of what's going on here. Rocky calling a shot, and it connects with a suicide dive! Right. I'm getting him up, and now looking to damage the arm a little bit. Yes, good through.
<laughs> right now, man, I gotta get props. Honestly, I thought Shane was gonna have this because he was taking control at the beginning, but it looks like Rocky is playing the long game. And right now, look at see the offense with another butterfly DDT. Here it is. One, two, three, and Rocky has put down Shane Henry. And what's Rocky thinking? I don't think Rocky's done. Oh, sh what the fuck's he getting now? This motherfucker! No, <laughs> what are you doing with the ladder? <laughs> oh shit! Has a ladder set up, and oh! Hits him square in the face with a ladder. Rocky <laughs> making a statement here. <laughs> Holy shit! Hey, we might, hey, we might need ER here. We might legit need ER here. Holy crap, Rocky picking up a big win over Shane Henry. Hell, that was his PXT coon big right there. Hell yeah, dude. Well, damn. <laughs> Congratulations to Rocky on picking up a win, but here's the thing. Um, I just uh, I just got word that these two want to hurt each other so goddamn bad. They're going to have to force uh, one another inside an ambulance that's right ladies and gentlemen at operation pxt it is confirmed it is going to be shane henry and rocky mccado going one last round because here's the thing shane picked up a win off rocky rocky picked up a win off shane now it's time to see who the hell gets that final one so in other words it is going to be an ambulance match so i guess we're going to see what happens here but now with that said Last week, ladies and gents, last week, this actually fits really well with how it set itself up now. Last week, ladies and gents, Electro not only made his claim that he wants the Triple Crown, in other words, he now wants the match to be title for title at Operation. It's either going to be Mason takes the new world championship we have created, or Electro takes that MTW title. In other words, now, it is a title for title. The winner at Operation will be crowned MTW United States Champion and the new PXT World Champion. <sighs> but with that said, um, that's not even all that happened because then Electro decided to actually spread his wings out and went toe to toe with Shane Henry to where Shane though admin wise came super close on putting down Electro still fell short and met another attack from Rocky here's the thing Jack Flo though though not super friends with Shane right now still didn't like the way how Shane fucking was treated so in other words ladies and gentlemen it is gonna be Electro going one-on-one -on -one against Jack Flow. This is this is actually pretty interesting. <laughs> though they're brothers and they hate or though they hate each other, they are brothers at heart. <laughs> there he is, ladies and gentlemen. He is not only the MTW world champion, he is the PXT champion. Who the hell can take this title off of him? He has survived the likes of Wildfire. Don't get me wrong, it's my ring out count, but sadly, at the end of the day, it is a win. He has survived Smooth Marino. He has survived Anthony Morales. Will he be able to survive at 2K24 Operation PXT against Mason Dixon? Right now, Electro is our longest reigning PXT champion. And sadly, because we are retiring this version of the title, for this version, he will be considered the longest reigning uh, for it indefinitely. Sadly. <laughs> now the question is, can, can he do it with the other one? Back, 
Holy bad shit, man. Batman, Batman, Batman Shane just got down. knocked the fuck out. <laughs> Team up. I am now the hardcore icon. We gotta close the curtain again. Hey, Havoc, dude, you calm down. <laughs> Now, I also want to point out, though those are the people I named he survived here in PXC, he has survived also D-Mob in MTW with the first tower defense. And how we uh, we have not actually seen D-Mob in a while. <laughs> Oh yeah, actually, you know what, I should probably point it out here, because I know people are going to watch this a lot more. So also, people, I want to point out that MCW will be continuing uh, along with us in 2K24. Now, no, it is going to be like a skeleton crew at first, but hopefully we'll be have more people in uh, when the characters actually get created. Um, it should fill out. Now, with that said, <laughs> I just realized Electro's gonna get like the most revamped titles in MTW history. <laughs> Cause he, he got the original one, then he got the revamped one, and now he's getting a third revamped one. <laughs> I just realized that, I thought that was cool. Electro's getting all the revamped titles, I just realized. <laughs> <laughs> Move the 24 in the booth, E. Alright, there it is. Electro, Jack Flow. I'm actually interested to see how this goes, because this thing, both of them technically have a similar fighting style. They're both technicians at their own right. They know how to adapt in the middle of a match. So that's why I'm pretty excited to see how this goes. Oh. I think Flo was trying to go in for it. An interesting type of clothesline, but Electro quickly stopping all the tracks on that and immediately gets up with an arm drag. Flo, now who knows, maybe Flo, maybe Flo can do it. Maybe Flo can do what Shane couldn't do last week. Know what I mean, Johnny, nah, that's, that's Flo. <laughs> oh, God damn. God damn, that was just... And it continuing just disrespect... Not disrespecting the bloodline in this case. Oh, fucking Shane's family. God damn. Electro, ever since he's held the gold, he's become just a fucking asshole. Everyone was excited to see him become the Triple Crown Champion, but now yeah, that he had became it, he became a fucking asshole. Now a big fucking powerbomb. To flow Electro, just taking control of it. There's Flo. God damn. How are we gonna see it? Oh, misses the electric talent. That could be. That's that could actually be pretty big. That could be pretty big for Flo. Flo now. Oh, oh, hello. Interesting. Some mission maneuver from Flo. I don't think we've actually seen this. So I don't know what, what to call that. Wasn't enough to get him out. Flo now getting him with a pump handle. Oh, shit. Dude, that was like a pump handle Samoan drop. <laughs> Electro able to kick out of it. Flo, holy shit. That was Flo's super motion. Flo can do the thing D-Mob couldn't do. What's Jay PXC right now? Flo's actually giving it to. Oh shit! Big punch straight to the face. And now Flo going to the top. Can Flo put down Electro here? Oh, Electro with a big fucking power slam. Reversing the top rope offense. But Flo not giving up. How honestly this could, this could really step up for Flo. Ooh, big maneuver. Emma is not going to win the MTW Women's title. I mean, who knows? And Flo continues the unique offense style there and now goes for the pin of Electro. One, two, no, Electro kicks out. Electro, oh, I think Flo was trying to go for some. Flo, not. <laughs> I don't know what I was about to say there. I'm going to be honest with you. I caught myself. <laughs> Ozzy, I'm pretty impressed that Flo is able to hold his own against the likes of our PXC champion. Oh shit! Oh shit! 
That was a pump up pedigree right there, holy crap. And now a fucking monkey flip from Electro. Oh, big punch to the gut. Able to catch it. And oh, a lightning talent straight to the skull of Flo. Is that not to put Flo out of motion? One, two, no. Flo kicks out. And now, oh, electric talent straight into the pin. One, two, no. Flo still kicks out. Oh, Electro. Thinking to end it here with another lightning talent. My God. One, two. Flow. What the fuck? He took a lightning talent, electric talent, lightning talent. What the fuck's going on? Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Flow. Flow. Flow is fucking showing resiliency here. And now, looking to possibly. Continues to work on, I guess you could say, the wings of Electro here. Holy fuck, dude. He survived Talons back to back. Three Talons back to back. Oh my god. I, I'm genuinely impressed right now from Jack Flo. Oh my god, how did he do that? How did he fucking do that? Goes to the pan, but Flo's hand underneath the rope. Oh, there it is, Flo. Flo! Flo of motion! Flo of motion! Or are you gonna see Electro tap out here tonight? Oh my god, we could actually see it. Electro taps out! Oh my god, Flo just tapped out! The PXC champion! He just did what Shane couldn't do. He did exactly what a lot of people couldn't do here tonight. Holy shit! We just saw, I'm gonna be honest with you, I've never seen him tap, so this is fucking big. Oh, shit. I'm gonna be honest with you. It was supposed to be Mason getting his payback, but it was only of Electro 1. <laughs> Holy shit. Jack Flo did what even Shane Henry couldn't do. Man, I can imagine Shane. Shane's probably pissed off right now. <laughs> It was a Logan Paul thing that just happened right here. <laughs> the older brother uh, had, to, had to step in to talk to me a little bit. God damn, though, dude. That's, that's fucking crazy. You tapped out. You tapped out. I tapped out. Yes, you did, D-Mop. You did tap out one time. No, I'm talking... <laughs> No, that's actually a first though. I've never seen an Electro tap out, so that's actually a big first. But you know what? Hey, that shows that though there's animosity, Flo Flo's still gonna stick up for his family. But I also let's be honest here, Electro has lost. <laughs> he has lost numerous times. Let's be honest here. It's for the title is when it matters. Which in this case, that's probably what he's thinking too. W Flo though, big time, honestly, because yeah, I think he. In history-wise, now he is going to be uh, going down as the first man to make Electro tap out. Which is big. Now, if it's for a title, <laughs> maybe. Could we be seeing a future PXC champion? <laughs> All right, but now it's the it's the first series of farewells here in PXC. Uh, another set is actually... These are going to be my sets, actually. Um, it is going to be... None other than Ace, who, like I think I said this before, Ace is not going to be making a return um, anytime soon this year of 2K24. And then also Jack Daniels. Jack Daniels isn't done with PXT. He's just going to be waiting to get the game so then he can make his guy. Uh, so with that said, uh, this is just a small farewell for now. They're not gone indefinitely. They're just a small farewell. And uh, we hope that Daniels comes in uh, very soon. But uh, for now, for now, it is Ace going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Jack Daniels. Now, I also want to point out, both these guys have competed for the TikTok Championship. Though one was able to pick up the title. Still really hope in the future, maybe Daniels can pick up a championship here in PXT. Who knows? How long has it been since I left the curve loss? Two weeks. <laughs> Two weeks. Because <laughs> he lost against uh, Donis. 
Yeah, like Electro, here's the thing, Electro isn't unbeatable, it's just, he turns into like, some another being when it's the title. That's when it means something. Shane, you can't say nothing. Don't your character, your brother beat him up. <laughs> I'm gonna win the TikTok championship. 2K24, you better pick me. <laughs> yeah, no, that's the thing. Electro has lost here in PXT. He's not undefeated. The only man that one of my guys that was undefeated like that was C Jim. And that was it. But yeah, no, Electro, the, he's not undefeated. It's just when it comes about the gold. When it comes to the gold, that's when it really matters to him. And that's when he will go 110%. Now the question is, will we see that at Operation? <gasps> no. I don't know, because I feel like that once in a lifetime magic between Electro and C. Jill will only be highlighted this year. And then next year, they're gonna drop. <laughs> they're gonna fucking drop, dude. <laughs> Electro will be a mid Carter. Because <laughs> I had the same feeling with C. Jill as well. The right, the right, is going to double jump soon. They don't know about that. They don't really want the title. C. Jill, what are you doing here? I don't know. I just wanted to be here. C. Jill, go back to the back of the match. God damn it. Fine. You, Shane, <laughs> it, took, <laughs> it took your brother to be a leg probe. <laughs> she remembered that. <laughs> no admin has been able to defeat Electro. Only, uh, only their other creations. <laughs> <laughs> it do be like that, though. <laughs> At least I can beat him. Correction! Your brother can beat him. <laughs> Oh shit. And already we're starting off with Daniels and Ace. Ace's contract is gonna be up after tonight, sadly. And hell, he will be forever remembered here. He's my guy. No correction, he's your brother. <laughs> just, want, just want to point that out. He's your brother. No. Because I think even Electro. Yeah, he's lost against another. Uh, I think he's lost against another creative character, hasn't he? To be fair, he would have lost against Wildfire at what's it called. If the ring out count thing didn't happen, he would have lost there. I'm thinking back on like his actual matches, because I know he's gone against other uh like originals. I know he's lost against one, I just don't remember who it was. Oh shit, big me shot. If anything, an MTW. <laughs> MTW, he hasn't lost at all. <laughs> I made the character. Nah, I still say it was your brother that did it. It will forever go down history as Flo beating him. <laughs> Let's go, Ace. I don't like drink, man. <laughs> This is the strange thing. Everyone loves Ace now, but it's, it's mainly out of pity. It's not even because like, he's good, cool, or whatever. It's, it's just out of pity at this point. It's like Justin. Which, want to confirm, Justin has renewed his contract here with PXT, so Justin will be making a comeback soon. Not an operation, just soon in general. Maybe, or am I lying? You'll never know. Goddamn, oh goddamn! Okay, Ace coming in with everything! God damn! And finish it with a big fucking suplex! God damn! You're my 13th reason. I know. I don't like Justin. He wanna be Ray. Haha, -ha, joke's on you! Uh, so I think, I think I gotta explain that actually. <laughs> so my brother stopped playing 2K. Uh, that's that's who he's based off of. Oh shit! He lands Memento Mori. What the fuck? Okay. Oh shit! One, two. Okay. Uh, okay. Back to the story time with Justin. Up. Uh, my brother stopped playing, but that was the style he always made. Uh, Ramus. 
Oh, not Rey Mysterio. That's not how we always made Justin. Um, and he even told me when I created him again to just go based off like a premise of that style. And that was his favorite wrestler at the time. So in other words, Justin, the character that he is right now, that is how he looked when he was a kid. So that's my brother as a kid's creation. Something similar to Devil when he first came about. When Devil first came out, uh, when PXD first started, that was Devil's as a kid version. Now he's evolved into like something else. <laughs> and Ace picks up a big win. Dude, do we want to talk about the fact you were wearing Shawn Michaels gear in your like first upload? Da -da -da. Da -da -da. To be fair though, everybody was like that. Ace picking up a huge win against Daniels. Now he's now he's gonna be begging for us to renew his contract. Sadly, no. <laughs> I want to point out, he leaves us here in PXT with only four wins. <laughs> I'm not even fucking joking either. <laughs> oh, man. Ah, oh, shit. I should have changed this match. Fuck. <laughs> so, this is a minor farewell. In other words, they will be coming back. It's just I haven't made them yet. Um, and that is... Domination. That's right. Uh, Titan Super. Uh, they, they talk. They're gonna still discuss their contracts. And no, they, these are my guys, so I'll, I'll make them some other time. But right now, they're not really needed for an operation. So, with that said, uh, both Titan Super will not be making a comeback, at least at the like beginning of PXC, but soon they will. Um, they were gonna go against the PXC Tag Team Champions here tonight. I'm gonna be honest with you, we're gonna be here forever if we do this. Because <laughs> it's a regular tag. You know, let's edit the match real quick. I'm gonna edit the fucking match. <laughs> I'm gonna edit the match. Because this, this one doesn't even fucking matter, honestly. Uh, not, hey, wait, what did I do? Yeah, edit. Alright, customize it. Nah, I'm just gonna make it a regular elimination. <laughs> In other words, the the one the one they did the one you know the the, the basic one. It's it's a basic hard to tag elimination. You know, it's a farewell to PXT this year. You know, farewell. Yeah. 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 <laughs> In other words, farewell, it will be menace and domination going on. This is a this is more farewell to fucking 2K23, really. It's not even a farewell to like PXT. But um Yeah. No, honestly, I know a lot of people here's the thing. I'm excited to bring Justin back, because Justin does say he wants to update his Um But the other thing is too, he is actually interested in getting 2K24 because it actually does look interesting to him this year. Um and I was like, hey. Come at it, come on. <laughs> if you do it, <laughs> you can make your guy the way you want to, and I can just download him. <laughs> um, so I'm, I'm excited. If he does get it, I'm excited to see how he does it. If not, then he will just look how he looks. I'm going to take the tag title real soon. I don't know if I am. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know either, because I, I, I did actually make Menace more of a tag team this uh, at Operation. So when they come out, they're gonna look. They're gonna look pretty cool. <laughs> they're gonna look pretty cool. There he is, the man that solo won those tag titles. Let's be for real here. Well, we go carried for that entire thing. Reason I'm saying that is because it happens. No. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> I'm joking. But yeah, no, legit though. Well, Dio did single-handedly practically solo win those tag titles for him and Bugrip. Now the question is, can they hold it? That is the question. Oh, I mean, you come out of nowhere, Rocky. Hey, Rocky. 
I don't want to take tag time. It sounds like I'm going crazy. I'm just reading the chat. Because <laughs> I do come out of nowhere. And hi, Shane. <laughs> So, between these two teams, guys, who, who, who do we see picking it up? Because this thing, Metas has shown they could be pretty dominating. But then they haven't gone against the likes of domination. So, between, between these two teams, guys, who do you see picking it up? Because honestly... Ah, dude, I always want to say domination, but here's the thing. Super is a little bit of a glass cannon when it comes to, like, domination, like, fighting. Because for some reason, it always feels like he gets hurt first. I don't know what it is. It always feels like he gets fucked up first. Ooh, excuse me. This is the last time we'll be seeing PXT on 2K20. Man, it still feels surreal, man. But it's going to be continuing to another game. <laughs> it's, it's just, I don't know. I didn't expect it to like grow as big as it did, guys. And I appreciate everybody here. You see Bugrip? Okay. I did a rocky. I beat. No, 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 no. Correction. 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 Jack Flo beat him. Not Shane Henry. Jack Flo. So you, so you gotta, so you gotta, you gotta correct yourself there, Shane. Dang it. No. <laughs> we had, we had to correct that. It's Jack Flo that did it. Other words. Big Brother. No. <laughs> Big Brother came out and helped Little Bro. No. <laughs> I know I'm the best, and he's my guy. He's my guy, beat him. No, he's your brother. Well, it's like Justin. I don't say he's really my guy. It's more like he's my brother's guy, because I'm just going based off what he normally would buy. Definitely Shane has a point. He did technically beat him. But... It's April Fool, so I'm gonna fuck with him either way. Alright, <laughs> uh, here it is. So I made it a hardcore tag elimination, because, uh, like I said, this, this is just a farewell. Exactly, thank you. No, not exactly, it's a technically, so in other words... Flo still did it! No, don't... <laughs> and he did it more manly than any other admin could. But you also have a point. It wasn't Shane who beat him. It was Jack. Yeah. <laughs> right now, uh, both Domination and Menace going. This is a. This is actually an interesting one. Because I just realized a lot of my guys are in the tag divisions. I just realized that. Because I have these fuckers. Hey, look, Rodrigo's doing exactly what Rocky said they would do. <laughs> I just realized that now. Rodrigo, think he tactically. Poor Shane is getting bullied. Yes, he is. Nah, no, I'm joking. <laughs> it, it's more it's more April Fool fooling with him. In, in my case of April Fool's, just fucking with him. <laughs> No, because I do know someone else that technically beat an Electro, but I just don't remember who it was. Because I know there was an original that beat him. I just don't remember who the original was. Y'all look like this. I was going to say, that, that's more you, because you said it's your guy. <laughs> so you're like, but I beat him! Me! Me, I was like, boy, Jack did it. <laughs> I'm just taking a beat, Electro. Yeah. You know what? That's crazy, too, because I think you said that he went, like, back-to-back -back with the Talons, and he didn't go down. Same thing with Flo. Flo took the Electric, the Lightning. <laughs> or he took the Lightning, the Electric, and then Lightning. Like, he took three Talons back-to-back. But I do want to point out, uh, I do see Electro losing at Operation. Uh, reason being is because the next game is totally different from this year. And I mean, immensely. So, we're going to see how that goes. Because I'm curious how it would even work with the, like, 
the universe mode and shit. You can't even see what's going on in this match. I'm going to be honest with you. So I'm just practically not even going to call it. Because <laughs> I can't see shit. Mason going to win. I hope he wins. I, I genuinely hope he wins. Because it would be a great way to start it off. Because because it is a revamped title, technically, uh, Electrobe's not going to have rematch clause for it. So I do also want to point that out. Whoever wins takes it and will not get a rematch clause. Or in other words, if Electro loses, it won't get a rematch clause because it is a revamped title. Oh shit. Roger, oh shit. Roger. Oh, oh shit. One, two. Okay, Rodrigo kicks out. Holy crap. Holy mother of God. My god, hits him with a fucking Canadian destroyer. Holy shit. Hey, you all, I can't win. I can never win. Whenever I celebrate, I get to shoot down. My guy finally beat Electro. Rocky, when I gang up on me, I won the good championship. No, because it's still what. Because here's the thing, Shane. They're Shane you, and then they're Shane uh, Henry. To where, in this case, when you say you did it, it sounds like you're saying Shane Henry did it. But really, it was Jack Flo that did it. Aha! <laughs> <laughs> April Fools. <laughs> oh man. Oh wait, we're gonna see Rodrigo tap out here. Dude, they're just <laughs> Domination is just dividing and conquering at this point. Holy shit. Oh shit! Big Samoan drop from Rodrigo to the outside. God damn. Oh, big discus. God damn, we haven't seen Rodrigo hit a discus in years. Pin on the outside. One, two. This is my case in point. It's always super that like gets fucked up in domination. And the Titan has to carry, man. Now it's a 2v1. Now it's a 2v1. Menace showing... God damn. Okay. I think Menace is making a statement because here's the thing, it's confirmed. At Operation, it is going to be Menace and if Drew has a partner, it will be whoever that person is in a Hell in a Cell match for the Tag Team Championship and a build grip. Oh my God, sending them out of commission. Bye back, bitch. Fight back! Fight back, bitch! Boys get bullied for no reason. You do not get bullied. You get corrected. <laughs> oh, fucked up. <laughs> oh, Titan. Titan looking to solo, but the number game just taking advantage of this case. God damn. Boom! Big belly to belly. Womp womp. Damn! <laughs> Oh god, now, now, now he is. They ain't bullied them back. I hate you. I generally hate you both. <laughs> we all have fun here in PXD. Oh, we all have fun here in PXD. <laughs> Rodrigo, I, I guess setting up. God damn, gets caught in a big fucking headbutt. Oh, Titan! Titan looking to solo this shit! Titan looking to solo this shit! But Rodrigo looking to gain the upper hand. Titan, though, setting Rodrigo back in the ring. I know, oh, getting caught in a big. Oh, wait a minute, I just see the ref do a fucking slide. Hey, yo, hold up. <laughs> I just see the fucking ref. <laughs> I should have ignored the... <laughs> God damn it. Yes, I was at a party. And yes, I'm on game chat. That's the reason no one can hear me. <laughs> and... Dad, dude, Titan's just getting... I'll get this! Titan's getting brutalized right now, but holy shit. One, two. Menace is just trying to show that they are the fucking statement when it comes to the tag team championships right now. That's what they're trying to do here. God damn. Why? 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 Is it because I'm the little brother of the group or is it because y'all don't like me? What the fuck is it? God damn. 
You are the little brother of the group, little brother. You are the little brother of the group. That is what it is, Shane. That is what it is. Dang, say something mean to Hunter. Go, do it now, please. Do do do. <laughs> you can talk trash about the channel. Girl's getting mugged. <laughs> At this point, yeah, no, he actually is getting mugged. Titan is legitimately getting mugged, but he's refusing to fucking like fold. Like he's not wanting to give him the satisfaction of a defeat. That is what's going on here right now. God damn, dude. I mean, I've seen crazy shit before. I've legit seen someone solo a two-team. <laughs> so it, it's possible. It's just how stupid the team's gonna be. So how stupid this man is gonna be. Oh my God. It's out of suplex. Oh, what's, what's the, what? Bugrip, what the fuck? Okay, there it is, okay. I think Bugrip realized that the fucking ref wasn't gonna do shit. Oh! That was a lift up cut. Oh, uh, go on, Rodrigo. I think Rodrigo's just pissed that he just stopped the pin right there. <laughs> Rodrigo wanted to continue the assault. <laughs> I think Bugrip's now agreeing with it. They're trying to make a statement out of what's been, honestly, I want to say the most dominating team. Hmm, I have an idea. Shane, what? DMs. Da -da -da. Oh, did you ever send me the message? I just realized I didn't even check that out. Yeah, you didn't even send me the message. You, Shane, you said you were going to send me a message. No, I don't want to. <laughs> oh, Bugle on the outside! That might be it! It is! One! Two! Oh, dude, Titan's the fucking backbone of domination. Let's be honest here. Oh my god. How? And Buga's getting pissed too. Oh my god. What the fuck? Like, genuinely, what the fuck? Oh, you're gonna send it on here. Okay. I thought you were gonna send it through the Discord. Okay. Oh, I think Rodrigo's looking for... He's looking to put him down with a spear, but I don't, I don't think we're going to see that. Bro, we got to see Titan's solo run. He did have a solo run. Uh, he, oh, had a title shot for the YouTube Championship at the beginning of PXC. Uh, that's where C. Jill started his domination, if you will. Oh, the discus. Is that it? One, two, three. Menace. Laying out domination. Damn, dude. Honestly, if I was Drew Jeffrey right now, I'd be fucking running. <laughs> God damn, dude. The only time I got them. It is now a handicap match in the tag. <laughs> Can you imagine? That'd be funny. Oh man, that's crazy. All right, here, let me see what the thing. All right, so congratulations to Menace. Honestly, looking straight towards Operation with high ass hopes to retain the fucking uh, tag titles. So those tag titles will be revamped. When I say revamped, they're not going to like change really. Style wise, they'll change, but and they'll still go down as like retaining the titles. In other words. Um, well, sort of. <laughs> sort of, in a way. In other words, they won't make the entrance with the titles. They'll just, uh... Come in. The only one that will make entrance with the titles would be... I want to say Electro, only because, uh... Thanks to Shane. Shane was able to... Full on replicate the PXC Championship from 2K23 on to 24. And it, it generally looks really fucking good. Like, it looks like even the, like, update to how the titles look. It looks like... Yeah, it could be like an actual WWE Championship, um, which I liked actually about it because I was like, damn, because yeah, I put a little bit too much yellow on the what's it called to where his, it looks like it's more dimmed, but it sort of works because that means it aged pretty well. Hunter, I'm done arguing with you. This is the reason why I only like you with people outside of PC only death and deep. But I am dumb. You don't understand how dumb I am. But either way, uh, but like I said, uh, Electro will probably be the only one coming in with titles um, because all the other titles are sort of like revamped, so it's more mainly going to be like crownings. 
But with that said, um, one person who's not fighting for a title against a former UFC champion, if you will, C. Jill. That's why right, C. Jill has went ahead and undergo or went ahead and agreed to a match against Smooth Marino and a UFC style submission match. In other words, steel cage, no escapes. Um, the only way to win the match is via submission. Now, with that said, uh, this is going to be a first for C. Jill, but at the same time, uh, when I asked him about it, uh, his exact words were, he trained in something similar <laughs> as UFC style, but not uh, UFC, no, it was more um, uh, semi-fights to the death, semi, because they didn't really die, it was more like they were close to death. Not really. <laughs> so uh, C. C. Jill was just like, <laughs> he was just like, oh, no more match, cool. <laughs> but now, with that said, uh, guys, it has been a hot minute since we see C. Jill here in PXT. So we said, C. Jill, can can you like at least show up the PXT and like actually? Show everyone what you're made of. And he said, yeah, sure, fuck it. So in other words, ladies and gentlemen, it is C. Jill. And, uh, well, <laughs> apparently he wanted to put him against a big fucker. It's going to be C. Jill against Draven, ladies and gentlemen. Holy shit. <laughs> it's actually interesting because they both have, like, similar styles. Draven, C. Jill in the ring. Wait, what? Wait, what? Am I? I'm hearing Spoo's music. Sorry, the music's cut off for the live stream for some reason. Oh, what's this? Oh, Smook! This she up! The mind gates, if you will, back! Because here's the thing, last week, see Jill's music hit to distract Moreno, costing them the match, by the way. Are we going to see something probably happen here tonight? See Jill. <laughs> I haven't seen C. Jill compete here. Be God damn. The mountains of man. And C. Jill immediately comes in. <laughs> Looking crazy. It comes in. Oh, God damn. The spring will drop kick. I forgot about it. God, I'm going to miss this version of C. Jill. Because I'm going to be honest with you. I don't think he's going to compete the same way. <laughs> I generally don't. Oh, and oh. God damn. The big high lift knee. And now starts to attack the leg there. Oh, but Draven now looking to make a comeback. Oh, big double X clothesline. C. Jill not letting it go. It continues with Onslaught. God, this is the strange thing about C. Jill. He makes his striking power with pure force. And that's why he's a fucking menace. Oh, my God. The white, the white viper already busted open. The Turkish butcher. Oh my god! Holy shit! <laughs> Why can't you do this in MTW? <laughs> See, Jill, BXC wise has been nothing but an absolute monster in MTW. Now nah, he loses a lot. <laughs> Oh, right oh my god, dude! He's he's making Draven look green! He's making Draven look green! It's like Draven hasn't competed for years! That's how C. Jill's making him look right now! C. Jill continuing the offense, sitting into the corner, Draven's down! Wait, what's this? Smooth! Calling C. Jill! C. Jill walking over, apparently both men now talking smack to each other. And Draven! No! Getting some offense in! Smooth hot. Why, what the fuck? Why do you have a steel chair there for a second? Raven finally getting some type of offense in! My god, I think that's like the second shot he had in this match. DJ L tossing Draven back into the middle of the ring. My god, though, dude. C. Jill. <laughs> C. Jill. Oh, my god. Oh, did not expect Draven with an outside dive. That's C. Jill. My god, C. Jill just faces it like nothing. Oh, my god. My god. <laughs> my guy. God damn, C. Jill. He's dead. <laughs> C. Jill, you're already killing the man. <laughs> my god. 
Smooth. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't know what. Oh, goes in for another outside diamond. Was he challenging him? Was he challenging him to fucking hit him? Oh my god, dude, see, Jill's another fucking... See, Jill's built different. <laughs> he just challenged Draven to an outside dive him. Oh my god. What in the fuck, dude? But now, because that costing him, because now Draven's coming in with these shots straight to the skull of see, Jill. Oh, but now Draven's coming in with some offense, finally. Oh shit! Draven getting C. Jill back in the ring. C. Jill's up. And oh, big clothesline! Jill's not done. Oh my god, god damn! Sands Draven fucking flying! And now big spine buster! My god. And then, oh! Doesn't get caught in the heel kick! Oba gets caught on a big clothesline! Draven getting C. Jill to the corner! Oh, it's Draven going for Draven! Hits Jill to the ropes, and now, god damn, sends him rolling! Doesn't send him flying though, but sends him rolling! Is that enough to put down C. Jill? One! Two! No! I know we have seen C. Jill pinned here in PXC. Now the question is, are we going to see it again here? Uh oh, Draven going in for the Draven Circus Bomb! Is that enough to put C. Jill out? One, two, no! C. Jill! Like I said, man, the man's built different. The man is just built different. Oh, there is C. Jill now coming back at it. Big fucking four up straight to the skull. There is nothing but pure offense. And now see Jill's coming back at it. He's probably just coming back at it as if the offense didn't do shit. White Viper was 75. He would still win this match. I don't know about that actually. <laughs> see Jill, my god, dude. He's just punishing Draven at this point. Now see Jill. Looking to get Draven up. Oh, Draven's refusing it. The both men just colliding with each other. Draven. Oh my God. Soul of strength from Draven. Oh, into a big. Into a big fucking power slam. Oh my God. This might be it. Draven might be able to put down C. Jail with another Turkish power bomb. Hey, hey, ref. First underneath the rope. Oh! Well, they're out there to catch that. See, Jill, though, still kicking out. Want to point out, see, Jill's power bombs are practically see, Jill's fucking kryptonite. I got to point that out here. That's how he lost the YouTube championship. Is that how he got Oh, big heel kick! Ooh, drops him down. Big maneuver from Draven. See Jill though, not giving up, and now comes in with the knee shots, straight to the gun, straight to the face. Oh, big heel kick! See Jill now looking to possibly pick up the big man himself. Oh, gets him up for Father Sins! Here it is! One, two, no! Draven kicks out! Oh, C. Jill's going. C. Jill's going to the top. The crowd's saying they're not worthy. Honestly, I'm surprised C. Jill's fucking going to this crazy right now. Oh my god! Big four. I'm straight to the top. Draven, though, not giving up. Draven has heard the likes of C. Jill, has heard the likes of his family. Looking to put down C. Jill! Then they put down the offspring of the late great E. Jill. God, I could do crazy ass shit for his career. Then now comes in with the big knee strikes. Look at the focus. Straight to the, straight to the skull of C. Jill. Oh, Draven's up top. Draven's up top. Big elbow straight to the chest of C. Jill. That might be it, honestly. That's a big man. One, 
two. No. Oh, my God. How was he kicking out? Oh, another big elbow. Heads him up. Oh, that big shots. Now there it is. There's Draven coming with a big shot. See Jill, though. Not done. See Jill with the big running high lift knee. Oh, big one over there. Draven, though, getting out of it. And now this could be it. This is going to be it. Draven with the Dragon Turkish power bomb. But see Jill's hands underneath the rope. And see Jill now rolling out. Oh. Draven going high, he misses the dive. Oh my God, oh God, and now looking to make Draven. Tap out, oh my God, he's making a statement. He just made a statement, he made Draven tap out. We just saw it, Draven tapped out, but it didn't matter. It has to matter in the ring. And that was a statement to Smooth Marino. Oh, wait, see Jill. I think C. Jill's saying, screw it. No, no, wait, wait, wait. Getting Draven back in the ring. Oh, God, are we going to see it? Are we going to see it? Gets him up. No, Draven, not done. Draven's not done. He's not going to allow C. Jill to take him down with the goddamn big suplex. This could be Draven's shot. Here it is. A big, oh, pedigree right there. The Butcher shot. Butcher's cleaver right there. Is that another Pussy Jill out? One, two, three. Odyssey has a lot of damage, but no. <laughs> C. Jill made a statement though. God damn. Draven able to put down the likes of the White Viper. But no, C. Jill was literally asking for it. That's going to do big shit for Draven's career and for the people at home. Because hell, like I said, C. Jill's father, E. Jill, was widely known in that area. <laughs> oh my god, and that wasn't even a five star. What the fuck? <laughs> Fucking crazy. Now the question is, did that distraction help? <laughs> Actually, yeah, it probably did. <laughs> Dang, ever since he lost the YouTube title, he fell off. Uh, oh, 50 50. <laughs> I'm not gonna say he fell off, because here's the thing C. Jill is a reckless fighter. That's what he is. Now, when he's reckless, he does strike hard. What? D-Mob, you can't say nothing. You fell off after losing the fucking hardcore title. What are you talking about? <laughs> I won more gold with help. No, <laughs> um, no but with C-Jill, he fights more recklessly, and not just that, he doesn't really care about the titles, really. He mainly cares about having the fight, and Draven gave him what he wanted, which in this case was a fight. Hell, he stood there and took a damn outside dive from the man! <laughs> Hell yeah, let's go Draven. Yeah, no, Draven, dude, I'm telling you, he did good. But, um, no, that's what I'm saying, though. See, Jill sees more of, like, the fight. And that's what he wants. And that's what Draven fucking gave him. Hell, he literally stood there and allowed Draven outside dive him. He was playing the match, and then not just that, not just that, he made a statement, too. He didn't want to defeat Draven. Because what happened on the outside? A tap out. A call out. To smooth Marino. In other words, he knew that match didn't mean shit. So, with well, that said, let's hear for our boys, Draven. You go, Lance. Yeah. Honestly, it was a good fucking fight. Now, uh, on, to, uh, on to a bit of a murder. Honestly, I was going to give Quinn another match, but, uh... I couldn't find anyone else. <laughs> That would be like a decent fight, because you know, maybe you can surprise us. So, with that said, uh, both these men sadly will not be returning to uh, PXT. That's the other reason why I put them together, because this is their actual farewell match here in PXT. In other words, uh, it's going to be Corey Dreams, and uh, <laughs> Corey is all going to say, uh, I am sorry, 
And I do mean this. That was Draven Driver. I'm calling it Draven Bomb or Turkish Power Bomb. Uh, look, man, it's, it's a bomb. Oh, you. Oh, wait, no, you're talking about the pedigree thing. Uh, I'm gonna call it Turkish. The Turkish Cleaver stuff. That she does. Because you're like cleaving the meat in this case. The same. Alright, but either way. Uh, yeah, no. Uh, yeah, Koi's dead. So, uh, <laughs> oh, man, dude. As a farewell to 23. Koi, if you are watching this, I apologize. <laughs> I am so sorry. Now you pick up the win. Uh, good luck in your future endeavors. And holy shit, you pick up a win off of one of the big guys here in PXC. Because, no, uh... Here's the thing, for people leaving PXT, I'm actually really sad to see Flood go, because Flood has only lost two times here in PXT. <laughs> I'm being serious, he's only lost two times. Ah. Guys, Draven pinned the White Viper. Honestly, yeah, no, I think that's actually a surprise here tonight, that he actually pinned the White Viper of Russia. But then again, see, Joe wants people to go 110%. When he was YouTube champion, people were intimidated. Now that he doesn't have it, and he's lost numerous times, people are giving him a fight of the, their lifetime. And that's what he wants. That's what he loves. And that's why I want to see him against Electro, because I think that shit would be awesome. <laughs> actually, I was just really curious to see who would win. <laughs> The two biggest drop-offs of PXT. <laughs> I get full. <laughs> we won't forget Corey. I already forgot Corey. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> no, honestly, no. We won't forget Corey because Corey is forever cemented in PXT. Uh, it, whether that's here or heck, even with the well, now this being former episodes of PXT, he will be forever remembered here. How he. Don't get me wrong, yes, people say he was carried, but honestly, I'm a little sad to never see how he would have done by himself. That's one thing I will say. Uh, who knows? He probably could have a badass fucking shot here. Who knows? We could have. We probably just missed our future either PXC champion or TikTok champion, YouTube champion to help. Honestly, I see this as a big loss. Really. Heck, even with Desmond, because like I said, Desmond. This man's more of a monster than CG. Let's be for real. This man only lost twice. Now, one of them was because of a fucking, like, low blow, but it was a hardcore match. So that shit was legal. Yeah. That would have been cool. Draven, future world champ. Uh, he, he, he's, only, he's only beating, like, one guy. And the, technically, the guy, like, got big time. <laughs> He cemented his legacy by being none of his Drew... As, not as Drew Psychic who got carried. Guys, come on. Let's not be that tough on Corey. Because honestly, I'm not going to lie to y'all. I feel like that was the reason why he left. Is because people have gone a little too much in this whole like server. And I'm not going to lie. I, I am a little tired of seeing it. Because um, look, I get it. That's how it's coming off and stuff, but we gotta remember that some people that are in the server are kids and younger kids, so really we shouldn't be doing that type of stuff. We should really be just being happy if you guys win, boss, and stuff like that. And who knows, maybe Draven, yeah, future world champion. That would actually be pretty cool. Now, question is, can he win the title opportunity? So far, no. <laughs> I can talk shit too, but no. Um, I do feel like that's one reason why Corey didn't want to continue, is because we had... I can have an opinion. Yeah, but honestly, I feel like the opinion should be kept to yourselves at this point. Because even with me, don't get me wrong, I agree, he was getting carried, but I'm going to be honest with y'all, that was us shooting his character down before he can even go up. That's like us doing it with any NXT star ever. Hell, that's what my dad did all the time. Hell, he did it with Daniel Bryan. 
You did it with Brock Lesnar! <laughs> uh, you saw Brock Lesnar come out of nowhere, uh, beat The Undertaker. He was like, nah, man, they got, no they got like, there's nobody to beat Undertaker at WrestleMania. And I was like, yeah! But then after realizing who Brock Lesnar was, nah, they got the perfect guy to beat Brock <laughs> Undertaker at WrestleMania. <laughs> so that's what we sort of did with Corey. We sort of just did that to him. And I don't know, I, I feel bad about it, honestly. I was excited to see how he was going to look in the next game, but I do think we should tone it down on, like, talking trash on our characters before they can do anything. Can I pick up his first single one? I don't know. Maybe. Wait, he's first? No, he's one. I think. I swear he won a... Yeah, he did. Yeah, because didn't he beat D-Mob? If I remember correctly, Drew, I believe you lost against Bugrip. No, you lost against Rodrigo, that's right. No, that's right, you got both lost against them, that's right. No, wait. No, because I'm thinking War Machines. Yeah, with the War Machines at the time. Uh, oh shit, big move right there, Desmond, goddamn. Yeah, I think Corey did pick up a win against D-Mob. And he gave a pretty good fight to... Uh, Slade as well. That's what I'm saying. I was excited to see him on a solo run. That's why we were excited to do that whole, like, bit we were going to do. But he, he didn't want to continue. And I feel like it was just because of that. And because of that, we're missing a pretty good opportunity to see somebody grow. My only weakness. A spear. And a bear hug. <laughs> <laughs> you know, an opinion don't fight. <laughs> no, no, no. It's not that. Oh, and Johnny in the deep. Hey, he kicked out though. <laughs> the weird unorthodox style of Desmond. Man, I'm going to miss Desmond, honestly. I remember when he first came in, I thought his moves were cheap as shit. But now, now actually, like, watching him fight and compete and shit. I generally embraced, like, his shit being all weird and crap. Thank God I've had a time with it. <laughs> I'm going to be sad to see him go, man. Uh, everyone's beating the War Machines. Beating both of the back-to-back, -back, so did Flo. Technically, the War Machines never lost the tag titles. So want to point that out. Got to point it out. They technically never lost tag titles. So we can't say that the War Machines got beaten. Because as a team... Technicality-wise, as a team, no undefeated. Cool. I still find that weird how that's a finisher. I don't know. It's just ending it with a pun. I don't know. <laughs> I I just don't think a punch should be a finisher because that that just seems like. Oh, I can punch him normally. Oh, that's my finisher. No, no, he's down. That's how that feels to me. I don't know. Now, if you do like a wind-up shit, then yeah. Well, it's a suplex into a punch. Yeah, but the punch should be the final thing. I don't know. I'm generally sad to see both these guys go. I'm not going to lie to y'all. Because I was excited to see Corey on his... Uh on his own, do a solo run. I was excited to see what more we could do with Desmond with the Unholy. Uh. It's all I'm going to say. If Corey wins here, ha 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 ha, he, he did bigger than everybody. Oh, that's like no big things coming for Draven. Oh yeah, possibly. If he can win a title opportunity match. That's how we do things here. It's called they have to win the match. There's, there's no, no favoritism here. They have to win the match. That's how we push. <laughs> so, I like, because here's the thing. People can be considered mid-jobbers. They win the match. Boom. They get the shot. That's what I decided with Corey, because I felt like he, now he was probably a future champion and stuff. Oh, 
Well, there's a lot of people in the back that I see as future champions, or possible future champions. Hunter, let me cook. I can see if he can get him back in dreams, that is. Uh, no, I, I don't think so, because I already apologized about it. I told him that we were doing some changes. He didn't seem interested. He just wanted to go, which is fine. It's fine. One on one, I've beaten the both of them. True. Until he pinned you. <laughs> and there's the drowning in the deep. Corey, again, I'm sorry. I only did this because technically over the two that weren't coming back in general. <laughs> God damn it. He gave us a hell of a fight, though. He, he gave fucking Desmond a hell of a fight. No, Shane, don't. He, he just said he wanted to go. That was it. It's fine. Don't. Don't. Please. Me and him already talked as best we could. And uh, that, that's as far as he wanted to go with. Now, this, this was more of a joke match. Uh, now, no, uh, it's mainly because I haven't heard anything from uh, Evans. But also, I don't think we, me and Rocky discussed this. <laughs> so this was more like a, eh, I don't know if they're gone, but there's a possible chance they come back. I'm okay if either way, but... Uh. <laughs> so, one of these guys, uh, it's it's sad to see them go, because here's the thing, we had a career match with them uh, a while back. Um, which was Evans, Mike Evans, because uh, we, we haven't heard anything from Evans if he's coming back or not. Like, he's in our Discord and we haven't heard anything from him. Um, so, hopefully we'll hear something from him or see his guy on the community, community creations. Because after tonight, I am fully deleting uh, 2K23 off my console so then I can save space for future games. Um, so th this is legit like the end of PC on 2K. Um, now with that said though, uh, the other person who actually did make his debut twice. I kind of want to see Mike. Honestly, I would like to see Mike Evans return because here's the thing. I was actually, he was another one that I could see like going forward and being pushed for like uh, big matches stuff. But for some reason, the randomizer just never chose them. It never chose them for title matches. And I was so upset by that. It chose them for title defenses, like, or title opportunities. It chose them for those. It never chose him for like the TikTok or hardcore title. And I was so upset about that. Well, with that said, um, Evans will be competing as a farewell here, and so will another man who technically counts as competing as well. <laughs> he went toe to toe with Electro. Shock the world. Hell, almost beat the man himself. Then he was in the rush match. Surprised everybody. Hell, he made it to like the final 10. <laughs> That's right, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike. It's Mike Evans versus John Winners here tonight. It's more of a meme match. <laughs> this thing, we never discussed if uh, Winners was coming back or not, so that, that's where I was just like, eh? <laughs> Because we know Castle's going to be uh, coming back as well, as far as I know. Actually, shit, I don't know if Castle's coming back. I'm going to assume he is, though, because uh, I know Araki was, like, really committed with Castle coming back. Honestly, I really do hope Evans comes back, because I would like to see him actually, like, come back, you know, make the next year his career, or make next year, like, his big career. I swear, if John Winters wins, we got to get him a contract. If he wins, I would, I would be down for him actually having like an actual fucking big year. I will legit be laughing my ass off. If he wins here, it's another career match. You guys with the system. <laughs> nah, I'm joking. Nah, this is a career match. This is just a slight farewell because I think with everything with Mike, uh, we'll see him soon. Maybe. Hopefully. I know he's in our server. I gotta still talk to him because I guess he hasn't been seeing what's been going on in our server. <laughs> John Winter shocked the world when he came out. He went toe to toe with Electro and actually gave us a pretty good match. 
<laughs> have one thought for a moment. Winners can put the electro down. <laughs> he was the real one that was closest to beating electro. <laughs> <laughs> Before Jack floated it. Oh, no. And only Jack Flo with no help at all. <laughs> to be fair, though, something was supposed to happen. I don't know why it didn't trigger, though. Because Mason was supposed to come in and uh, full on fuck up what's his name. I'm going to win the next rush match. Shit, I hope so. Oh shit, coming in with a sling blade into a big drop kick! No, I'm not gonna lie, I am pretty sad to see like Evans like as far as I know go, because I do think his career can pop off. Uh-oh. Did I lose the connection? Are we good? Okay, we're good. Sorry, I looked down, I saw the connection was uh, happening for a second there. Evans honestly making PXT pretty fun these past couple weeks with his open challenges. But making a career for himself, making himself known, making himself be open for how everything. And now all goes in for a big suicide dive! Winners though! <laughs> it's really struggling. I know Evans really was stalling off on him. But yeah, no, uh, honestly, I don't know if we will see winners best. See, I, this, uh, this episode with these matches are more just a podcast. It's more just uh, showcasing a farewell to these guys. But, um, no, nah, I, I do. If Evans does want to come back and stuff, doors open. Uh, after I talk to him, he does make his guy where he doesn't have the game. The doors open. He'll be in like injured reserves or our air quotes injured reserves. Um, and we'll do that for him because I don't know, I think Evans can do pretty good here because it was the same thing with, like with Smooth when he first came in oh wait oh going for the pin already Winners kicks out oh my god he kicks out of Evans one wing wait what the fuck Winner saying, let me teach you a lesson, old shit. <laughs> Mike, if you're watching, I can help make your guy if you don't have the game. Uh, well, that is true. Yeah, we could possibly do that. Because honestly, I was debating on doing that with Desmond too. But the thing is, I don't know the type of style they want. I don't know the movesets that they want. And that's why I haven't been promising that. Because like I said, I would love to have Desmond... What the fuck? <laughs> I would love to have Desmond back. He seems like he's an easy creation to make. The thing is, I don't know the movesets. I don't know what exactly he wants on him. So that's why I don't do it. As much as I would love to, though. Evan's teaching. Being taught a lesson by Mr. Winners. Former war veteran. Former warden. Now he's just here looking to baby win a contract. Setting him up. Goes under. Wait, oh, I don't know if Winners is going for something there. I don't know, but that might have cost him. Evans coming back in. Setting it. Winners of the ropes. Goes under. <clears throat> goes over. Drops it down with a big spine buster. It's gonna be called the. Uh, I know what he can call his finishing move. Well, if he comes back and he uses that, I know what to call his finishing move. Evans, a godly clipper. No, I'm joking. Big splash to winners. Is that another put it down? One, two, three. Evans picks up a win, honestly. <laughs> Not really a surprise. <laughs> that was supposed to be. That was technically just a squash match of the night. <laughs> Oh, man. Congratulations, Mr. Evans. You did fantastic, sir. Good job, good job.
Evans, I hope you are okay with coming back here next year, because God, I would love to see your guy compete for the actual titles. Any of them, actually. And now, a farewell to one of our OGs, but then also, uh, this is actually a rematch, because these two actually, the rivalry, now thinking about it, has actually started. It's not, it hasn't been like a big, big rivalry, but they've technically had a rivalry. Because, um, a little bit of uh, behind the scenes stuff with this. When Bone came in, uh, I couldn't find like another person that was down to, with PXT at the time to join PXT. So I didn't have anybody to do a uh, like, division match, which, no, that's what we used to do. Now it's just like, hey, come on in. Um, so I had to make uh, Carlo Mendez. And now even like looking back on it, these guys technically has, they have had a rivalry with each other. It hasn't been like a rivalry set by the game with animations or anything like that. But they've had a small rivalry with each other because they had the first match or the first division match against each other. Um, and then Bone went to win the actual thing. Carlo Mendez uh, beat Bone so then he can get a title shot. And then they were potato hopping the fucking title. And then Carlo lost it against the. Uh, well, technically, no. What happened? A lot of people that were behind title shots, Carlo Mendes had won a match to earn a title shot, I believe at BioWolf, no, at Hellfire. Yeah, won it at Hellfire. Then there was potato hopping like a motherfucker. <laughs> and then at uh, PXT, one of the episodes, there was an actual match to where Mendes won. Went to Abyss, lost to Smooth, Smooth then lost it to Bone. <laughs> Bone, uh, just to stop the whole, like, title being potato hopped. Uh, one final match, whoever wins, no rematch clause, gets the title. In this case, uh, Mendes was able to pick up the win and held the title. So now, both guys that are competing here tonight, Carlo Mendes and Bone Tubular, are our first ever, both of them, first ever people to hold the PXC championship two times. Now, with that said, um, we'll never see if Carlo ever could have done it a third time because he took some time off after the loss against Electro because those, that's two title defenses that lasted only like a week. Well, in this case. Oh, yeah, Bendis, Bendis actually uh, put the title full up. Um, but um, yeah, so this this is a little bit of uh, this is the match that I feel like should have been the main event. No, this is not the main event. <laughs> it feels like it should have been, but uh, no, the, the main event is actually going to be um, something because I don't know who it's going to put. <laughs> there he is, Carlo Mendes. I won't lie to you, I am generally going to be sad to see him go. Uh, who knows, maybe he'll come back in the future. Right now, though, I don't really see like a reason for me bringing Carlo back. Yes, he's a former two-time champion, but really, he hasn't really popped off here in PXT. He almost did at the fucking bankrupt, but he didn't, so... It is going to be sad to see Carlo's career uh, stop here for now. And then Bone as well, Bone's career will be stopping here for the meanwhile as well. So in other words, we could see both of them come back later down the road. But right now, they will be uh, they will be gone. Maybe because Bone doesn't have the game. Uh, Barlow, there's not really a reason, it's just I don't really see... Right now I don't see the point of bringing him back. Yeah, I won't lie, this actually was a fast PXC. Because hell, it was already the eighth match. To be fair, I think winners and Evans are supposed to go on a little longer. <laughs> well, this match I am going to call because this is, this is a match that um, he's pretty big. For me, because then it's, cause it's former champion going against former champion. Because I don't think these two... The last time they got against each other was back in... Fuck. October? 
That was the last time we saw these two go against each other, and here they are going at it now. Bone immediately going for his patented wheelbarrow DDT. Though Bone's career, well, not career, though Bone's uh, contract right now is going to be on hold, or still up in debate, air quotes on that. Uh, it's still going to be sad to see him go. Uh, Carlo Mendez possibly could see him return, maybe, not sure. That was under. And oh, Bone was trying to go over a jockey, but that's what I'm talking about. These guys have history, so now they're catching each other off little mistakes, little moments. This, this is what I have you realize. These guys have had an actual long rivalry with each other. That's the strange thing. Like, they never had a full-on rivalry, but they've had, like, actual history. Oh, my God. Whoa, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, shit. I don't know if he's done that in his career. I don't really pay attention to Carlos' matches that well, but I swear I've never seen that from him. Oh, it's got a big kicks right there. Mendez getting bone into the corner and now looking to dish some punishment to his arm. Yeah, I know. Honestly, I, I would say the rivalry is more, uh, how do I say? I would say more respectful. Like, I, I don't think either man hates each other, but in other words, I see this more like a... I can't say it's Dolph Ziggler and Miz, but if they weren't in character, in other words, they're good friends, but when it comes to the ring, they're gonna go 110%. Oh, you know what, Dean Ambrose and Roman, there you go. When they went against each other for the world title. That's how I see this match right now. Rivals that can be friends, that is what they are. And Bone, oh, uh, <laughs> I don't know what happened there. All right, now Bone again showing his expert style of high flying maneuvers. Back in Bone now, possibly looking to put him down. Oh, snap DDT. What's Bone gonna do here? Oh, Carlo, coming back at it. Yeah, no, I don't lie to you. I'm a little sleepy at this point. <laughs> Not because of the match. I, I haven't had trouble. I've had trouble sleeping recently, so I'm a little tired. If uh, my commentary seems a little off today, I apologize. And now I don't know what Bone was. Go I, mean, I don't know what Carlo was going for. Here. Bo was going on the apron. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful maneuver, getting him into an arm bar, but it doesn't matter on the outside. Oh, bone catching him in a big springboard maneuver and sends Carla Mendes rolling. Man, I'm getting, I feel like I'm getting emotional with this. Because <laughs> uh, I'm like just watching as if it's just like a regular match. And I'm not, well, not watching like it's a regular match, but watching like it's a big match and stuff. So I like what I do with uh, like some actual matches. There's matches to where it catches my eyes and I legit just stop and watch. And that's how I'm treating this because it's, it's big for both of them. Look at that again, just showing that they know each other so well. So ready for the skull crusher. Gets caught and now gets caught into Nightfall. One, two. And both men are fucking letting it, letting it in there. My God. Former champions going toe-to-toe going -to -toe and the crowd's chanting it too. They want these two to fight forever. Oh, I think he was trying to go for his wizard there, but doesn't get it. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, man. This should have been the main event because both men just know each other so well. Both men have been champions 
Oh man, it's crazy. This should have been the fucking main event, dude, I tell you. Ooh! You got a shot there, now drops. Gets up with a drop kick. Now, one other thing I will uh, lay on know that um, wins and losses, uh, I'm not going to be tracking it for next year. Even like this year, or this episode, I'm not going to be tracking the wins and losses. Uh, because next year, they're going to do that on their own! Which I'm fucking ecstatic about! Yeah, the game is actually going to keep track of their wins and loss records on uh, the next one. I am going to miss Bone too. I am genuinely going to miss Bone. He's made PXT a fucking treat. I'm not gonna lie to you. Like I see Bone, like I see Sting with PXT. That that's how that's what I think about Bone. Like I feel like he was, the, like before Shane, he was the sole like feel of what I wanted PXT to be. Without him, without Lawler, and without Shane, I don't think we could have seen PXT grow as big as it is right now. Looks like, oh, and go! Gets him a save! He now hit him with a bone spike! One! Two! No! Oh my god, still not up. Take him out. I think Bone was pleading with Mendes to stay down. Oh, wait! Oh! The ref got in the way! The ref got in the way! Oh, no! The ref has got in the way! <laughs> Mendez now coming in with fucking series of shots. Holy shit. Oh, I hear this. Skull Crusher. Is that enough? Oh, the ref, you dirty bitch. Damn, even with the slow ass count. Fucking ref, dude, I swear. Alright. And with that, Bone is not saying goodbye forever, but saying see you soon here tonight with PXC, guys. Oh, man. I'm, I'm, I am I'm generally sad right now. Oh, man, Bone. Bone, 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 bone. My hair's... Well, my hair's getting... Dude, I gotta fucking do something with my hair. My hair is fucking going crazy again. I gotta talk to my guy and get a haircut again. Totally fuck. It's going just out of out of all sort. And that was it for our farewell matches, and tonight we are ending it with uh <sighs> Man, this will get god damn it. Imov is suspended. <laughs> Dima was suspended for PXT indefinitely. Uh, he has to pay a $500,000 fine and also buy me a smoothie. <laughs> oh man. Uh, but no, we're gonna end, uh, we are ending it tonight with um, Ava Moreno because here's the thing Ava Moreno has been a. Uh... Wait, why is it Ava? What happened here? Change. Okay. So Ava lately has been getting a full-on attack, if you will, by Jimenez, El been challenged, El just, just in general. Um, how she got brutally assaulted with chair shots, where even Jesse was able to like get the upper hand, because apparently that injury is now still fucking affecting Ava to this day. So we decided to give her like a week off, but the thing is, she said, "Fuck that shit, I want to still fight." Because if I look weak, Slade's not gonna love me. I'm like. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> I was like, sure. <laughs> sure. Uh, we asked her about like what she thought about Slay getting attacked, which, note again, happened again here. Nope. No. Oh, the fuck keeps doing it? That's right, Slade was not here tonight. Um, well, not really. It's also because it's farewell. But uh, that's the reason why we haven't been seeing Slade, is because apparently uh, he's been getting attacked, and now we have like actual uh, law enforcement involved. Uh, because now it just seems like it's getting a little bit worse with it. Because it seems like someone's stalking the man. But, okay. With that said, uh, Ava want to continue fighting here tonight because she thinks if she gives up, it is betraying 
The Views. Her future hubbies, Michael Slade. These are her words, by the way. Um, by giving up. Which, in this case, she decided to have a match here tonight against anyone that wants it. I know, Ava's... Ava still has a pretty fucked up the torso because of the whole like shit that happened uh, the beginning of this month with Alexia and Moreno going toe to toe to where a chair shot or a chair assault from both Jimenez and Carnell brutally assaulting Ava Moreno with the steel chair has left Ava a little injured because hell even last week she did fall short against Jesse. Which we did not see that coming. And it's like that, D-Mob, you are fined even more money. You are fined $15,000 million. That is right. I don't even know what number that is. The point is you're fined that much. And then a smoothie. From the Great Lake of where all the elephants decide to have their milk. And if you say they don't have milk, huh, they fucking lied. No, I'm joking. <laughs> Ava Moreno, the PXC Women's Champion. Picking up from CJ Love. And honestly, really showing why she's the champion by not letting it go. Now she claims that shit's gonna stick with her for all humanity and time. Now, no, this championship is also getting a little revamped next year, or actually technically next week. That's right, next week we see all the new revamped championships. They will be revealed during the title matches. And it looks like... <laughs> it looks like Caitlyn! Caitlyn looks to answer the call. I believe these two already went toe to toe against each other. Caitlyn wants a payback. And I think is now looking at an injured Moreno and seeing an opportunity here. Oh shit. Ava, ah, uh, good luck. That's all I'll say. Good luck. See that one crowd lady that said, yeah! Still fucking crazy. What do you mean she's fucking crazy? She's not fucking crazy. Also, Dimov, she says for that you are now fine another fifteen thousand dollars, and you must buy Slade and her chicken nuggies at McDonald's. Good luck. <laughs> Dimov's already in debt. <laughs> <laughs> From the first fine, he was in debt. Every other word he, that came out of his mouth just got him more and more into it. <laughs> Kaylin honestly made a fucking intimidating force a couple weeks ago when she made her debut against uh, Emma Perez and uh, Aurea, sorry. <laughs> Is another is another Emma maybe? Da, 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 da. You'll never know. Um, how dominating fashion want to point out? Don't get me wrong. There's still there's still a shot for a rubber band match between the two. Microsoft charge me. God damn it. Ooh, big shot from Moreno. God damn, he was not holding anything back. Shit. Oh, Kalen though. Not only back either, Kaylin coming in with a big drop kick and now comes in with a big oh kick straight to the back of Moreno. Oh, big drop kick. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna lie, Kaylin. Uh, Kaylin is a terrifying woman to go toe to toe with. But even with that said, she is still going against the PXC Women's Champion. Who oh still has not lost that title now one fucking bit and does not plan to at Operation. Now going up and oh misses the splash. 
Can I get to get up? Oh, big powerbomb into a big knee straight to the face. I'm not talking about Caitlyn is a <laughs> Caitlyn's a force, man. Caitlyn is a force. Ava is crazy, bro. When we were the war machine, she tortured me. Nah, that's not true. You still have a dick. <laughs> And now it comes in with an elbow shot straight to the jawline. Oh, and with a gut shot, Ava immediately gets it with her own. And Kaylin quickly stopping the offense with a big clothesline. And Moreno has to roll out. Kaylin, though, following after. Oh, I think Moreno, I, I don't know. It looked like Moreno was hesitating there. I believe the torso or her abdomen area to where she was attacked with the steel chair is still affecting her. Because hell, her shots are coming in a little delayed. She's moving a little slower. I think that's what we're experiencing here, honestly. God damn, Alex threw straight into the fucking back of the barricade. Right now, Ava really struggling to keep up with it. Kaylin with pure offense. Now, knee shot straight again. Straight to the fucking like middle area of Moreno. Where she was attacked with the steel chair. That count of six, ladies and gents. Oh, this is the kick. Today we're gonna go for here. Oh, it's going for a roll up, but gets her rolled around for a super kick. And gets back in. Go to Caitlyn. Pull the woman tying up, and immediately Caitlyn coming out with big shots. Holy shit! And now, oh, look at that knockout, Ava Moreno here. My God, now continuing this case, just stomping away. God damn, just stomping at the hand of Ava Moreno. I just realized this is going to be a quick, what's it called? But this case, guys, we can all watch Raw. <laughs> the Raw before Mania. Oh, shit. Oh, Ava's fucking going. God damn, she's going to town. Shit. Can Ava put down Kaylin? Looking. We size her up. Oh, doesn't get it, Kaylin. Yeah, out of it. Oh, gets it with a big suplex. Practically folding Moreno. I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. She's getting fucked up now. Oh, Nick Kaylin was trying to go for the same thing. I'm not sure. Oh, but Moreno getting it. And now, what are we going to see? Kaylin tap out here. That was the STL. Doesn't get, doesn't get it. And now, oh, Kaylin, oh, what's going for a calf crusher, but doesn't, or a knee breaker, I don't know. Either way, doesn't get it. And she wasn't close enough to the ropes. Who knows, we might, we could have probably saw Moreno tap out. Oh, Moreno going under, getting out of danger, gets up with a drop kick. Moreno, I'm going to be honest with you, she needs this win. Let's be honest with you, she's been falling off a little bit, and there it is. Goes in for the SCL. Is that going to be it? Are we going to see Kayla tap? Applying the pressure, are we going to see it? Are we going to see Kayla tap out once again to the SCL? No, Kayla getting out of it. Cool shit. It kicks straight in the face and out. Goes to the pin. One, two, no. Moreno kicks out. Uh oh. This is an. Oh, that's kind of big fucking Superman punch right there. Hey, look at that. She's a big fan of a man that tapped out here tonight. God. <laughs> oh, but Moreno. That's just between hers and an electrobe. Electrobe, it knocks you the fuck out. Hers, it's just a kick. Oh, and now. Oh! Kaylin, I'm telling you, man, Kaylin, the. Uh, Taking advantage of an injured Ava Moreno at this point. That is all that's happening right now. Now sends Ava back into the middle of the ring. 
<laughs> Look at that. Brackley circling the ring and stalking her prey and now taunting away. Kayla thinking that she got this. She sees injured prey and she's taking advantage of it. And again, Moreno slides out. Kayla following. Moreno using it to her advantage. Oh, leg sweep to the outside. All right, right now, Moreno in control, tosses Kaylin back in the ring. I don't know, I was I wouldn't be talking away. I'd be going in there and trying to finish this shit. Oh, right now, goes under. Oh, big fucking back elbow shot straight to the face of Caitlyn. Yeah, Moreno put her down. Oh, big drop kick. Moreno going to the top. She's going to the top. Oh, shit. I, didn't, I don't know. I think that was more risky than actually worth it. Oh, my God. Full on belly splash right there. Shit. Moreno looking for it. Moreno looking for it. Gets the SCL win once again. Oh, my. Kaylin immediately gets out. Oh, shit. Kaylin immediately gets out. Oh, that's her up. What's going on here? And now. God damn. Oh, misses the kick. Moreno coming back out of here. Gets him with a drop kick. Straight to the back. Moreno thinking it's enough to put Kaylin out of action. One, two, three. Okay, that does it. Moreno comes in now. Oh, again! The assault continues! Moreno! Oh, Moreno again! Continues the full-on assault! But this first with a chair, now with the actual women's championship! I believe we saw this like a couple weeks ago, did we not? I don't know, I feel like we have. He looks to claim that, how the fuck was that three stars? <laughs> I swear, man, I don't understand this game's ranking system. Oh, man, though. That was he, that was on the event. Moreno looking to claim that fucking title for her own. My hair fixed itself. <laughs> Ish. Oh, no. Oh, man. Crazy. So, um, I was gonna just end it. Here's the thing. If y'all don't remember, um, last week, last week was, uh, I'm not gonna lie to y'all, last week I, I, like, full-on mount as my most favorite episode doing PXT, not because it was just me by myself, but it was because of the moment at the end, um, the, the stuff was coming full round circle, um, it, it was beautiful, um, and then the ending that are um for me that was my best episode uh with the end though uh that shit was loud <laughs> uh with the end though um it's um uh, i worked hard on but now uh you guys don't remember last week, I said that was like a part one. Here's part two.